It's your boy Afro Yonko here to hit you with the Yami. Know I mean? On top of the Yami you know I mean? with a little bit of the Yami know I mean mixed in, Yami. You know I mean? In the last video, I was letting y'all know why I'm so hyped for this game. And just a quick recap, it's because your boy loves martial arts games and movies, and I feel as though we don't get enough third-person action-adventure games where the fighting is based around hand-to-hand -hand combat, you feel me? And so because of that, we gotta cherish them shits. Now we know the story is a revenge story where the main character is searching for and fighting five different assassins who took part in assassinating his family. And we know the five assassins are influenced by different forms of kung fu, thus having a unique element that pertains to each one of their unique forms. Real quick, uh, this is what I said about the elements in my last vid. It has their own element. Earth, water, wind, fire, probably something else. Yeah, nah, I messed up. The actual elements are fire, water, earth, wood, and metal, which apparently are the five elements in Chinese mythology. And we know this because Monsieur Pierre Tarno who is the co-founder and CEO of Slow Clap stated this in the future game show vid. And I'm gonna leave the link to that vid in the description in case y'all wanna check it out yourselves. We also know that the pendant around the main character's neck has special properties. It gives him the ability to come back to life every time he gets clapped in the game. But of course, there's a catch. And the catch is, he gets older every time he comes back. Another thing we know is that aside from being inspired by Dark Souls games, the developers of Seafood were also inspired by Jackie Chan movies. Now let's be honest, they shouldn't have told me that because now I'm gonna be trying to do this shit in the game. <laughs> I'm sorry, did this did this brother just pin drop to dodge a kick? Please tell me y'all peeped that. Lay up, nah. It's fair to say they made him in the lab. Now I think the whole point of the character dying and coming back older is that we associate getting older with getting wiser and you learning from your mistakes. And their attitude is that shit you tried last time ain't work, did it? Yeah, don't make that damn mistake again. Cause it was clarified that you only give but so many lives before you're gonna have to start the whole game over. Which, I right, that's pretty obvious, right? The more you do something, the more experience you gain. Of course, unless you happen to be a teenager from San Francisco in high school who can see into the future and who consistently fixes her mistakes only to make the same ones the next time around for about three to four years, then it might not be that obvious. But it's all good. Her and her friends are still goaded, respectfully. Now the question I do have is, are there attributes like strength, speed, awareness, etc. that change levels when you come back? Like maybe you got older but your strength goes down but your awareness goes up. Or your speed goes down but your strength and awareness go up. Maybe after taking a few L's, you're older but still in your prime. So all your attributes level out and are the most balanced after coming back a few times. Now obviously at this point in time, we really don't know. It's really just conjecture or perhaps a wish list, if you will. But I'm just saying, that'd be a fire feature. Well, I say that now. But if I ever have another moment like I did when playing Cyberpunk and my damage wasn't doing shit. Okay, God. Yo, how many how many headshots does it take to kill a cyber psycho? That should be a that should be a real question. A riddle even. Like the Tootsie Pop commercials. Y'all remember those? One, two. Don't don't let me let me try another weapon. Just try something stronger. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, 334 still? I'm gonna be tight. Now what I'm also hoping to see is upgrades to your repertoire, which I'm sure will be in there. I mean, will it be like Absolver, where you can add new moves after fighting different people? Are certain combos gonna need to be acquired before fighting different assassins? Like all that would be lit. Now it would also add to the difficulty and technicality elements of the game, but we Afro Pirates, we ain't soft. Now what would also be interesting in Sifu is if kind of like the old Fight Night games, there was a training room where you increased your power and speed and other attributes using the speed bag or the heavy bag or the wooden dummy, something like that. But of course, like everything else, there's positives and negatives to a mechanic like that. Because after a while, let's be honest, probably not going to want to use that. But maybe what they could do is make it so that every time you fight your enemies, your attributes increase. And maybe the training room stuff is just for an extra boost. That way, the training room isn't necessarily a necessity. I'm also curious about what melee weapons we will possibly use. Because in this one clip, it shows us fighting with a bow staff. But will there be other weapons like nunchaku, broadswords, twin sticks, maybe butterfly swords? The point is, there's a lot of melee weapons that are part of martial arts. And it'd be real cool to use some of them on this quest for vengeance. Now we know more than likely it's not going to be an open world game of any kind, but I wonder if it'll take other aspects from other upcoming games like Deathloop where all the assassins are available to approach at any point in time and you get to choose which one you want to go after first, which one you want to go after last. And the only thing that separates them is the area they're in. And I wonder that 
because in the trailer and the little clips they show when the main character approaches the different assassins he isn't always the same age and you can tell by his facial hair or lack thereof which makes me speculate how long it took to get to each one the older he looks lets you know mm, he probably got put a few times and it's probably not the beginning of the game like in this one he looks older than in this which makes me think he fought the fire assassin before he fought the water assassin and it looks like he fought both of them before he fought the wood assassin but that's also all this conjecture i could be bugging now the last thing i'm curious about is if there's gonna be different levels of difficulty to each assassin or does the difficulty just come in with your style of fighting versus their style of fighting and their difficulty comes from the uniqueness of their style of fighting I'm really not sure i don't want it to be rpg-ish to be honest while i respect rpgs i really prefer it to not be like that and the way it's being described chances of that being the case not likely obviously i still think it's gonna be fire regardless even if that was a thing but that's all i really have for y'all today don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell me what y'all want to see tell me what y'all don't want to see tell me if you really care are you just excited and yeah just come join the afro yonko crew come become an afro pirate again i need a strong crew to take over youtube so let's get it i'm gonna catch y'all next time all right peace